Hello everyone, I just want to show off a couple different things for Unity's uh, UI world space uh, support. For anybody that has not seen it, Unity actually added a UI toolkit uh, world space support for mouse and touch input. So for runtime, so now you can actually use like a world space uh, UI toolkit. And I just want to show you how you can do it just in case anybody is wondering. So first thing you need to do is uh, make sure you have like Unity version like 6.2 alpha 6 probably be like a really good one to test this out with uh, to that actually supports world space. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, you want to check inside your project settings inside project settings under UI toolkit. There's actually an experimental option that uh, says enable world space rendering. Uh, you will have to have that if you want to use world space rendering with UI toolkit. So enable that. Uh, once you enable it, if you actually go to the uh, inspector, uh, you can actually add like a UI document uh, component, or you can actually right click and you can uh, go to uh, UI toolkit and add UI document object that way. But once you add it uh, in UI toolkit, you have a panel settings and the panel settings uh, basically tells your runtime UI uh, like font scaling for like screen size and everything. If you go into the panel asset that actually is being assigned to your uh, UI document, you'll notice uh, once you enable that uh, enable UI rendering uh, world space rendering option inside of the project settings, there's now a thing called render mode. And here you can actually switch between uh, screen space overlay. So if you notice, I switched it to a screen space overlay and it just instantly went to that. Or you could have it as world space overlay. And I'm actually going to all that actually change my settings. Anyways. Anyways, I'll fix it in a second. But as you can see, uh, that actually does change uh, from screen space to world space. You can even choose a layer that you want your stuff to be on. So I'm going to just set it to world space layer. Uh, do you know the reason why you have layer is if I actually go to the um, thing, if I actually go to UI real quick, if you notice uh, when I click play here, it's going to automatically add a uh, collider to your world space UI. So as you see, it actually adds a box collider. Um, the reason why they add a box collider is if you see, I can actually now click inside of the uh, UI inside of world space mode. And the way they do that is there's actually a raycast that's actually being added into the scene automatically for you. And basically that raycast will automatically like attest the colliders. So uh, that's why your like panel settings or has like a uh, world space layer uh, because it allows you to like filter out different world space layers uh, for the raycast to uh, be sent to. And obviously you can ch uh, change like your uh, scaling parameters and everything like that. But another thing to know is uh, whenever you have a UI document in world space, you can also change the uh, world space dimension. So you can set to dynamic and fixed mode. Uh, I haven't played with that too much yet, um, but that is something you might, uh, for that is there for anybody that wants to know about it. Uh, if anybody's wanting to do event systeming, so like uh, here you go. So I'm going to hit uh, play mode real quick. If you notice, uh, I have it where whenever I enter the uh, UI text field, a pointer event will actually go off. And then when I leave the text field, a pointer event will actually go off. Uh, and do note, uh, like your game view has to be like uh, focused for this. So like if I uh, I just clicked out the tab, I'm going clear. If you notice, uh, I haven't clicked back into game mode yet. So like uh, the pointer events are not registering the game mode as focus. Now I just clicked back into uh, game uh, mode. So now it's focused. So now the events will run. So uh, if you click out of the uh, game mode tab and then you like put your mouse over it, but you haven't clicked back into it, it won't focus and the ray casting won't set off events just for people to know. And basically how you do events is just like you had toolkit. I basically have a mono behavior here. Uh, and basically all I'm doing is I'm getting the UI document and the UI document is actually uh, this component. Uh, the UI document component actually has a root visual companion, a uh, root visual element, just like editor UI toolkits would have. And basically uh, you can just like uh, query the things. I'm just querying that text field that's right here. And basically, uh, you can actually uh, just register events on there. So that's all you got to do. So yeah, Unity now has world space uh, support for UI. Um, do you know if anybody's wondering how I got a shader onto the UI panel? So if you notice, uh, I actually have like an actual like 
custom shader here for the uh, like UI panel and stuff. Uh, I actually wrote a HLSL script. I'll do another video on that. But uh, for anybody that's wanting to do like custom UI, yes, you can do custom UI. In fact, you can even do uh, a few different things with it. So I'm actually going to show you guys this. So if you notice uh, right here that the uh, I have like a fill and then I have an outline, uh, just to show you guys that this is a thing. Uh, let me make sure I got the right one. Yeah, all right. So just so you guys know, you can actually add a bloom effect onto your uh, world space UI. So uh, the outlines here actually uh, have a bloom effect. So uh, I'll do a video to show how to do that, but you can actually use world space UI and actually add like a post processing to actually affect it. Um, like here's my fill color so I can like change the fill color and stuff and everything like that. But that is something you can now do with the UI toolkit. And I do, uh, I just have like a texture basically uh, just for reference. And basically, um, these, that texture that I have is uh, what chooses what is the bloom effect is applied to. So I have like a, this little like a square hologram, and it's basically just these lines outlines. And you can actually inject into your world space UI and actually have like bloom and uh, post processing uh, be affected only on that texture layer, which is really cool. And again, I'll show people how to do that in a different video, but. I just want to make like a quick like uh, thing saying, hey, Unity has world space UI now, so go ahead and have fun with it. Um, that's it. Anyways, really not meant to be a tutorial. I just want to inform people about it. So uh, not like worried too much about like tutorial quality. I just wanted to share this information. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see everyone in the next video they watch.